Aloha Jan. I wanted to take time to thank you for allowing me to work with and care for Jasmine while you were away. Um, she's been a real pleasure. I wanted to make you a video so that you had something to refer back to um, if you had questions in regards to her training. Please know that I am always here for you to answer questions, but I find this video is helpful for people to refer back to as well. Your main training goals for Jasmine were to work on her um, long stays, recall, her being out and about in public, and also not jumping. So that's what we worked on a lot. I mean, I had her out and about quite a bit. Um, we worked on nice long stays, recalls. So everything that you wanted me to focus on, um, we focused on. So she's been doing really well for nine months old. Or actually, no, she's going to be a year on Monday. So I'm sorry, for a year old, she's doing phenomenal. You should be very proud and everybody who's been working with her so far should be very, very proud at um, what she's accomplished in just one year. So I wanted to discuss a little bit her out and about behavior. Um, She's very, very excited when people come to see her, so you wanted me to work on the jumping, and I understand why. She is a very friendly people person. So to work on the jumping, um, if people wanted to approach her, I always told people she had to sit first, and then if um, I would ask Jasmine to sit, and then the people could say hi. But if people went to reach down to say hi to her, but she still jumped up, then I would ask her, tell them, please wait. She sits, and then they can say hi. If for some reason she jumps up on the people after she has sat, then I would tell her off, sit, off, sit, right away to give her something to do. If we just say off, then she's still left to her own devices and excitement to jump around. Jasmine! Jasmine, come. Good girl. Good come. Good come. Good come. So, um, also working on her jumping, we never allowed her to jump up. Uh, <laughs> good demonstration. We didn't allow her to jump up on us. So, when she was very excited to be with us, we told her to sit before we picked her up or sit before we tossed toys um, to play with her. But we made sure that she was sitting instead of jumping. So that can help with her impulse control. And as you have told me um, that you worked on, you always have her sit, stay before walking outdoors and sit, stay before coming out of the car. You wanna continue doing all of that um, work on her impulse control. Jasmine, sit. Good girl. So, if she jumps, if she's on leash, she can give her a gentle pull back, say off, sit, and then they can say hi. But don't allow people to keep um, petting her if she does jump. But she's doing better, but it's good that you say sit so she has something to do, something, something to think about. Also, while Jasmine is out and about, or if we, um, if I had a meeting or sit, good girl, had a meeting or went out to eat, I would bring her a green um, um, blanket that's in the car. Jasmine, good girl, good quiet. I had a blanket in the car, so she would lay on that. I, I would say mat. She knows to go to her mat, lay down, and stay. Um, so she's been doing really well with that. She's been doing really well with the long stays. Where she does get a little distracted is like if we were in the Safeway parking lot and then there were chickens passing by, she was very distracted with the chickens and birds on walks. I was saying leave it if she was distracted with um, other animals. Good girl. Good girl, Jasmine. 
So leave it if she gets distracted. And then when she's being a good girl, like definitely reward her and say, good girl, good girl. And um, normally it's verbal praise and not um, treats. In training, I would give her treats. But if we were walking, I would just say, good girl, good girl. Um, because giving her treats in the middle of the parking lot when she's distracted with chickens was a little difficult. So when she was being a good girl, I was just saying, good girl, leave it, good girl. Good girl sometimes. So her out and abouts are doing very well. Jasmine has been, been doing really well with her recall. And what I would do there is just if she's cruising around the house or the yard, I would just ask her to come. Jasmine, come! So she was distracted with watching people outside right there. I would just ask her, come. Good, come. Reward her for coming to me. And then, okay, just let her, okay, you can go do what you want to do. You can do what you want to do. But that's how I've been working on her recall. I do notice that where she becomes a little bit of a stinker is when she has a toy or something that she shouldn't have. And we actually had a lot of those situations because of Caden's toys. So she would go into his room and find toys, stuffed animals to take. Um, of course I would say drop it and sometimes she would drop the toy. But other times I could see that she was looking to see my reaction. So if it was something that I wasn't worried about her having, like not, not getting hurt, I would just ignore her. Or if I had some treats, I would say, Jasmine, come. But she's busy. Jasmine, come. <laughs> if I had a treat and she had a toy, I would just say, come. If I thought she would, again, I can kind of see it in her face. If she's not going to, I would ignore her. But if I think that I could ask her to come, then I would reward her, take the toy, and then um, that was that. But her recalls, that's what I've been doing, just in the houses um, or the yard periodically calling her to come, reward, and then let her go play again. And she's been doing really well with that too. So that's how I've been working her recalls. girl Jasmine. So in the house we've been using this mat for her go mat and her long downstays and she's been doing very well. Jasmine come. Good girl. And what I've been doing is just saying Jasmine go mat. She goes to her mat and lies down. Good. Now say good. She's been lying there for a while. She does a really good job with this. Good girl. Jasmine, come. When practicing this at home, I would um, be close to the mat. So we're just a couple feet away from the mat and tell her, Jasmine, go mat. Good. She should lie down. And then just because she's going to be um, working on this at your house, then you can take a couple steps back to be further further away from the mat. Good girl, Jasmine. Okay, come. Jasmine. Good girl. Good, come. Good, come. So now you can see that we're further away from the mat. Okay, Jasmine, go mat. Uh-uh, Jasmine. Jasmine, go mat. Got a little distracted there. Good. Good girl. So I would practice this and then I would go ahead and work on getting breakfast or dinner ready while she remained in the stay. If you find that she's getting up from her stay, go ahead and put her leash on her so that if she gets up, you can say no, go mat and put her back down on her mat. Um, I have to do that every once in a while because sometimes she just gets in a mood where she's not going to stay very long. But that's okay. You just keep practicing with her. But having her on leash, you're able to take the leash and ask her to go mat. Okay, Jasmine. 
Okay, Jasmine, go Matt. Go Matt. What? What? Are you being a silly girl? <laughs> Are you being a silly girl? Okay, let's try again. Jasmine, go Matt. There we go. <laughs> Good girl. And so you can see that sometimes she'll try getting away with something. Good girl, stay. But she's doing very, very well. So um, it's just really important that you're consistent and follow through. And then you can move, good stay, then you can move her mat to different places in the house and go ahead and practice with different places in the house. So right now Jasmine's playing this little game of keep away from me. I do not play that game with her. <laughs> I think that's part of um, where her recall can be a little bit difficult. So she really, really likes this ball. And I've said drop it and she's not dropping it. Or she'll try playing with me playing keep away. Jasmine, sit. Sorry, I'm trying to videotape this and show you what to do at the same time. So what I'm going to do is just ignore her. I'm going to walk away from her. Let's see. Jasmine, Jasmine, come. Jasmine, come. Good girl, good, come. So she came. She didn't have her ball. Now we'll go ahead and reward her. What I'm going to do is I'm going to toss a couple treats for her to find, and then I'm going to take her ball away. Now I'm going to try with a different toy. Good girl, Jasmine, sit. <laughs> she loves that ball. Uh-uh-uh, off. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, Jasmine. Good girl. Jasmine, sit. So I like to put these videos in where the dog's not doing perfect just so that you can see how I work through it. Jasmine, sit. Good girl. Okay. So I have her sit before she gets her toy. <gasps> where did your toy go? She really wants the ball. Can you bring it? Where's your toy? Can you bring it? Okay, Jasmine. Get it. Get it. Good, get it. Bring it, bring it. Good, bring it. Drop it. Good, drop it. Good girl, good girl. Overall, Jasmine is just doing really fantastic. Um, she's a lot of fun. You and everybody involved in her training so far has just done a great job and she's only going to continue to flourish with continued training and consistency. The ball's gone, sweetie. Yeah. Sit. Good girl. Okay. Good. Get it? Good. But please know that I am always here for you if you have any questions. Sit. Good girl. And she's doing a really, really good job. Okay. Jasmine, sit. Good girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take care, Jan. Yay. Good girl, Jasmine. Good drop it. Good drop it. Okay, two girls that love the ball. Here we go. Go. <laughs> Good girl. Great way to tire them out. Good girls, go. But Stella is much faster. Good girl. Go. <laughs> but they're sure having fun. Try tiring them out a bit. Good girls. Oh, Stella's like, don't take it. Good girls. Let's go.